All right, so in this video, I have a look at the new Sabrina Ones. This is a Nike signature model from the female athlete in the WNBA. She played in Oregon, and now she uh, has her own signature line, which I gotta tell you, I think a lot of people have been really excited to see uh, these on feet and in hand and just in general because it very much reminds us of the Kobe lineage. So they did a really nice job designing these sneakers and honestly, uh, after getting them in hand and on feet, I'm like, okay, dude, she, she has probably one of the best signature models for basketball, especially in the Nike space right now. Uh, out of most of the sneakers out there. And so that's a pretty big accomplishment considering you have some heavyweights in the NBA. You have Giannis, KD, Luka, D-Book, and so on. There's so many incredible athletes out there that have a signature line. But she has one of the best looking ones in my opinion. And if you guys agree or disagree, leave a comment in the comment section. Big shout out to Hibbit City Gear for sending this pair over to myself. They are actually sponsoring this video. They are a monthly sponsor of mine and I do get some sneakers from them uh, to create content for you guys. And if you guys want to follow along with Hibbit City Gear, check the link in the description. It'll take you over their website highly recommend getting their app downloading it and then they have a release calendar letting you guys know when sneakers are releasing such as these in fact i think they have sizes that they don't have on nike.com right now uh, in these sneakers so if you're looking for a pair of sabrinas in larger sizes you might want to check out uh, hibbit city gear for those wondering but this is the iconic colorway of the sabrina ones from nike and i believe sabrina's last name is pronounced unesco and these retail at $130. They do feature Nike Air Zoom in the forefoot, keeps it snappy, and then you do have Nike React Foam in these as well. There's a couple nice hidden details that I'll get into uh, in the video, but overall, the aesthetics of the shoe look really nice. It is a pretty interesting upper though, because you do have some embroidery on the uh, panels, which is very, very unique, not something I've seen a lot of uh, with the embroidery over top, and then you do have like the clearer windows on the sides with that kind of fish wire mesh on the sides for added breathability. And so the overall components of the upper is actually pretty impressive they have tons of different layers for that $130 price point the tongue being more of a traditional mesh and then the embroidered material the see-through like fish wire mesh or whatever they call it and then you do have a little added heel support back here and kind of like a mock suede or a felt material also though the liner is pretty nice as well it's nice and padded and the tongue feels really nice and soft kind of like a neoprene uh, material and then the outsole traction looks pretty sticky as well and similar to some of the Kobe's that we've seen it has a line down the middle of the shoe uh, with added traction or a traction strip, or I'm not really sure necessarily the reason why they put it there, but it looks kind of cool. And I'll get into some details of what Nike says about the product in just a second. A couple of the key components that stand out to the shoe, in my opinion, is the embroidered Nike swoosh on the side. Absolutely love that. And then on this side, you could see kind of like a comet, the Nike swoosh comes in a downward uh, motion. I like that, it looks really nice as well. Obviously the embroidery I already mentioned, but it's also embroidered on this kind of rubber panel on the midsole, which I think is a nice uh, added detail. Also, you do have a little bit of a pearlescent look on this outsole, which kind of gives a little bit of pop. I definitely like that. The other thing that I saw on here that I thought was really dope, it says anyone, anywhere. I thought that that is a really cool thing. And to me, that seems like you can get it too, like serving it up basically. But it sounds like this is more of like an inclusive sort of thing. So it's like anyone, anywhere can wear these sneakers, which is why they're kind of unisex in a sense, which honestly, it's been something that I've been pushing for for years. Nike needs to be at the forefront of this because they're one of the major footwear manufacturers out there right now but like we need to get away from the men's and women's releases i don't understand why it's a jordan brand exclusive in a women's shoe or just men's shoes it's just it's all inclusive they shouldn't have a label on them honestly i think we should take on european sizes because it's one size fits all like these are a euro 43 which is roughly like a nine and a half uh, men's which on the box it does say 11 women's nine and a half men so honestly it just ends up being confusing to consumers out there and we just need to get over the, like the exclusivity of uh, men's or women's and that's part of the reason why i thought this was a really dope shoes because it says anyone anywhere obviously they want these to be available for men and for women and i think that that's a really good thing anyways back to the shoes on the box you could see it has the sabrina logo which looks like an s or an h but i don't think she is number eight it looks like from the box she's number 20. so if you guys know why it kind of looks like an eight or is it supposed to be just an s leave a comment let me know because i didn't do enough research apparently to understand what the, the logo is but it looks cool and i like it and then you do have uh sabrina unesco on the side as well then on the top of the lid, it says, for those who love the game as much as I do, for the hardest workers, relentless dream seekers, and for those paving the way, for those who work tirelessly to perfect their craft without ever looking at the clock, this shoe is for you on your pursuit to becoming the best you can. A nice little quote, nice little personalization on the box. And then the colorway on this one says photon dust and anthracite. It's kind of a grayish colorway with iridescent soles. And honestly, I really dig this one. Anyways, let's get into some words of what Nike says about the product. Sabrina Unescu's game is unique, hard to define and built with an undeniable craft. Her signature shoe helps you unlock 
unlock your versatility with a snappy four foot zoom air and cloud-like react foam to help keep you energized. We use inside from the next generation athletes around the world to bring grippy, best in class traction, reliable midfoot support and stability to the court, which every hooper needs. Built for crafty players like Sabrina, but made for anyone who's ready to put the work in and take the game to the next level. This version is a play on Sabrina's family name and a nod to her iconic game. Shape shifting colors on the outsoles is a nod to Sabrina's swerve and swift changes of direction on the floor. So it's top loaded four foot zoom air and then Nike React foam. So I was watching an old interview of Sabrina and she actually mentioned that Kobe's were her favorite sneakers to rock on the court. So it makes sense that they kind of have a very similar look and feel to a Kobe line. Obviously we don't have a new latest and greatest version as of this point at least. So it's kind of cool to see like a nod to Kobe and like his lineage, but also kind of make it more elevated to today's day and age. Obviously the Nike React and the midsole is a plus and then the top loaded Zoom Air on the forefoot, which is very similar to some of the Kobe sneakers we've seen in the past. And if you think about their gameplay styles, obviously Kobe was really quick as well. Uh, Sabrina having that same sort of notion when you have these sneakers versus like the LeBron 19s were just massively huge tanks. This is very simple and swift looking and I think they did a really good job on it. I also do like that they're semi gusseted which means that they're attached from this point down so you have some wiggle room to be able to get them on your feet but it's also secured from this point down which makes it so you're just locked in a little bit better and the tongue's not going to be sliding around as much. The other thing I wanted to make note of is there's not a lot of fused overlays on this shoe. The fact that they did the embroidery over top instead of a fused overlay I think is an interesting move. It will be interesting to see how they wear if they're quite durable or not fused overlays have like pros and cons obviously from the back tab here you could see a little fused section here but the fused plastic material stuff can obviously wear thin as well so i'm wondering if the embroidery actually lasts a little bit longer or not but i'd say overall fit for these do fit a little bit snug i got a 9.5 men's or an 11 women's i probably could have gone up to a size 10 which is very similar to the way kobe's feel for me kobe's usually fit a little bit snug for myself as well a little bit of a wider foot and my intent is to be able to wear these loose and casual. But leave a comment in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree on sizing. If you guys do want to buy a pair, I'll link them in the description. And big shout out to Hibbit City Gear again for sponsoring this video. Uh, appreciate their sponsorship on this channel. It's been a long-term thing. And so I'm super thankful for having the opportunity to continue to work with them. So again, check them out in the description of the video. Make sure you download their app. They definitely have a nice release calendar and stuff. And actually, I ended up buying a pair of these. I actually lucked out on Hibbit City Gear site and got these, but I got these from Hibbit City Gear and not Nike. And that's happened on three different releases that have just come and gone that have sold out. So don't sleep on Hibbit City Gear, especially for releases like these that you're wanting to get and just relying on sneakers sometimes doesn't work. So I'll have another video review on these coming up, but I also did get another pair that I'm excited to review and this is the Air Jordan 38. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, make sure you check back because I will be posting a video. A really nice looking model to be honest in my opinion, but that's all we have for the video. Sabrina did some great work on this model. I'm happy to have these in hand and on feed and they look great, they feel great. And hopefully we'll see a continued line from Nike and Sabrina. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos. Peace guys.